Hey everyone, I'm here finally to do an unboxing from um, a con from one of the uh, contests that I won from. This one is from Cassie's Yarn Bowl. I'll link her description and um, I'll link her YouTube channel in the description. And this hers was in July and it ended it ended in July. And here we are, August sixteenth. It just, it took a while. I mean, it, it, it didn't take long to get to my package forwarder, but then once once they got it in their hands, then um, they had some issues with them telling me one thing, then then telling me another thing um, regarding uh, gift packages. Because here, yarn is, yarn du duty for yarn is 45% here in the Bahamas. And so when um, it arrived here in Nassau, once um, the company, Forwarded the mail, the forwarded packages, forwarded package here. Um, now I have to pay, I have to pay the company to, to for shipping it here, and then I have to pay duty, or at least I thought I didn't have to because. Long story short, I had from the, my other previous winnings, they just marked it as a gift, and all I had to pay was, the um, company fee to ship it here, right to forward it from for Florida. To here and that was it but now this time for whatever reason for this package that just came in what now it's been like actually two weeks ago um i was going back and forth with them because now they're telling me you know i i did the usual that all they required was an email from the sender stating that this was a gift and it was not purchased by me so and then and then they would mark it as a gift but for whatever reason when i sent in forwarded the email from Cassie stating that, you know what I mean, that it was, this is a gift, wasn't purchased by me. Then they were like, and then they started pushing back and say, oh, well, we need a value of the yarn, of the package, right? The pack, they needed the value of the package. And so now I'm going back and forth with them. And I'm like, well, you guys told me all I needed was an email from the sender stating that it's a gift and was not purchased by me and you would mark it as gift. Now, now, now they, they just kept saying, no, nope. We need the value of the package. We kept need, and then so I'm trying to, and I'm trying to call a manager, reach for a manager, and try to get, you know, find out. Well, okay, so what? Which is it? What's the policy? Because I had several packages come in, no issues, them being gifts. So anyway, long story short, um, they said um, whatever the manager said. No, it's supposed to be duty. It's supposed to be charge duty, no matter what, if it's a gift or purchased by you. And then I verified it with the. Um, official customs department of the government here and so yeah uh, anyway so I don't know whatever happened with the the previous ones that were mark marked as gift I count that as a blessing I didn't have to pay duty on those packages and so yeah so that's why it took so long for this one to finally come and I was able to just pick it up right now so I'm in the car um, because in the house is just um, not the best lighting and plus everybody's home a lot of noise in there so I I wanted to record this uh, as I'm unboxing it because I haven't opened it I haven't looked inside and seen everything that was in here but so anyway start out with um, a card she sent she included Cassie sent and look how cute alpacas and so you know basically it's just uh, saying you know sh she's so excited that I won and she hopes everything that she uh, she hopes that I enjoy everything that she sent in here and that she also made me stitch, stitch markers. So yay, I really need some stitch, stitch markers. But it also included in the card was this magnet. Really nice. So it's going right on my fridge. Really pretty. And then, okay, and so what I won was the Santa bag. The Santa sack. I've been wanting one of those ever since I saw it. I think, well, since I got into crochet, like in March. And I remember, and then too, back then it was... I remember it was only $14.99, um, I think in like March, April, May, and I can't remember at what month, I think it was June, they switched it to $19.99. But anyway, and as of right now, I don't think they have it at all. So I'm so thankful I got one. Thank you so much, Cassie. And so in the Santa sack is this, Lion Brand, oh, Homespun, okay. Ooh, and really pretty colors. I like these colors. I really like these colors. These are nice. So three of them. 
185 yards. This is a bulky five, my very first bulky yarn. I will have to figure out. Um, I think I was thinking for bulky yarn, I wanted to use them for rugs or baskets. So I have to see if I can make a rug with this or not. Otherwise, it'll be a basket, unless I can get more of this kind of yarn. Although I don't think I will be purchasing any time soon. Um, just budget wise and all that stuff so um, too because um, for this package it was definitely was not um, cheap to um, bring in here so anyway I am very thankful very very thankful Cassie for this because it would cost me way more if I had to purchase all this yarn myself and bring it in pay the package fees the shipping fee and the duty and all that stuff so thank you so much I'm so excited I'm so grateful and look Ice cream yarn! I've been wanting ice cream yarn from all the hauls that I've seen. Um, not necessarily my color, but I will work with it, definitely, still. I will figure something out. Um, I really like the ice cream yarn. I think I've seen it in the purple that like Crystal at Bag o Day got when she bought a whole bunch of, I think, the mystery boxes and she got a ton of the purple ones. I really like that color, but I'm still definitely not complaining. I will find a use for this for sure. It is a size four. Um, I'm sure all of you have already seen many hauls with it, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but this is the ice cream yarn. Um, so if you if you have any questions about any of these yarns that I show, just write them in the comments and then I'll, I'll answer that because I don't wanna take too long with this video. And the last package in the um, Santa sack. Ooh, Mandala, <laughs> Mandala baby. Oh, yes. And what's the weight of this one? Size 3, yes. I much prefer size 3 or less, I'm finding. Because um, after, after I've been working on my shawl, and then I went back to the owl I needed to finish. And man, or what, I can't remember, or what else was I using or making? I think it was the owl. And it was just like, it was just so weird working with such a thick yarn. And four really isn't that thick, but I guess it's medium. But it was just, and I'm just really finding that I much enjoy the thinner yarns. But yeah, three, three and under. And plus I like the look of it anyway. Um, but yeah, so this is really cool. And I like the colors as well. So I want to figure out what I'm going to do with this. What I'm going to make. And, and then she sent me another, there's another bag full in this box. With this really nice bag tote bag oops follow your heart um so yeah i could definitely use the totes and oh look um hmm with pom-pom i guess and or like a keychain pom-pom type of thing and ooh, what is that oh is that a shawl pin out the Sorry for crinkling, the noise. Oh no, okay. It's like a keech. Oh, look at that. Okay, I thought it was a flower, but it's a ballerina. Look at that, how pretty is that? That is so cool. That is so cool. So yeah, like a keychain. I wonder if I can like separate the, key, the, the I guess the poof. It's not really a pom-pom, it's kind of, um like hard in the middle, a little harder, but man, this is so pretty. Either way, yeah, I, I could definitely use this as a keychain. This is really pretty. I really like the ballerina. My oldest um, was into dance um, for several years before we came here, and um, she definitely misses it, and we just haven't been able to, and especially now with the pandemic, forget it. <laughs> I don't think any of that is possible right now at the moment. And um, she, she did all sorts of, um, she did all, uh, all, all the different styles, um, ballet, jazz, hip hop, um, some other ones, I can't remember. But um, so, yeah, so there's that. Ooh, look at these. Little, little, uh, little tiny skeins. I don't know the name. I do not know how to pronounce that. Something Garn?
looks like it's from is it Denmark? Oh gosh, I don't recommend. I don't recognize my flags. I'm not sure. But that looks like is that Denmark flag? Oh, I, I can't remember. I have to look that up. But um, so this one. Whoops. Okay, I'm trying to find. Yeah, it's in a different language, so I don't know what it. I have to look it up. See if I can um get it translated. But it looks like a. It almost looks. Like, it looks like a roving. It looks roving. It looks like it's thin, thick and thin. But um, but on a, on the lighter side, on the lighter side of roving. So, oh man, on the lighter side of uh, weight. But um, the thickest probably looks like a four, and the thinnest looks like maybe a two. But really cool, really cool. Like it. I know. I like any yarn. Any yarn. Because I'm, I'm willing to work with any yarn and to try any yarn because, like I said, I'm new, you know, as of March. And um, so far, I've only tried Red Heart, regular worsted um, Super Saver. Tried um, from my winnings from Sydney Moulter, I got I tried the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. I really like that so far. Um, and then um, the one from my friend bought for me the thin weight yarns the the one that i'm using to make the shawl the um red heart roll with it and then plus i have the summer nights i haven't worked with that one yet um so yeah i'm willing to try any and every yarn and um, to really find out which ones i much prefer and like to, well i know for sure obviously which weight i like to work with but um i still could definitely use bulky weight because like i said i want to do rugs and things like that baskets so i will still need the bulky weight yarn but ooh, look at this one. It is so soft. K KC Confection, 100% polyamide. And these are um, 50 gram balls. So there's that one. Okay, that one. And then, um, and then there's four, no, there's three. Three of this one, Bliss. This one is 63% cotton, 34% anti-pill acrylic, and 30% polyamide. And really pretty. Really, oh, so soft. Wow, but this one is like, ooh, this one's really nice and soft. Like this would be really great for like a plushie to make a, so a soft toy or something. Definitely would have to put this on like my wish list or something. Um, although I don't know how it will work up for um, Amigurumi, but I will see. And so yeah, so there's um, okay. Actually, it looks like it looks like all four, because it looks probably the same colorway. Um, so it's a size three. This bliss, and um, it doesn't state where I can't find. Oh, because okay, it's just called maroon white, which is what it is. Um, really nice, really pretty, awesome, really cool. Ooh, waves of cotton yarn, <laughs> gray dove, and um, size two from Dar Darn Good Yarn. 100% cotton, awesome. I've been wanting cotton. I've been wanting cotton. Because I I wanted to make some I need I really need some kitchen items so I want to make my own uh, dish towel, dishcloth, washcloth. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um, although I don't I don't know if this would be good for that or for something else. I will figure it out. So thank you. There's that one. There is Clio 100% mercerized Pima cotton and. It says Plymouth yarn, so made in Greece, 50%, I mean, 50 gram ball. Awesome, cool. I definitely need cotton. So there's two, so yeah, two skeins of that one. And then, oh my gosh, I'm, thank you so much, Cassie. This is awesome. This is awesome. Such an amazing variety of yarn. Yarn Bee, authentic hand dyed. This one is, it's called Supernova, and I don't see where, what is the material, what's the fiber? Mm. 
doesn't say. It doesn't say. You got, I'm sure you guys who have Hobby Lobby probably know what this one is. You guys have seen this often enough. But I do not see it. I do not see what... What five? Oh, here it is. Now I found it. 100% superwash merino wool. Mm. And of course, look at that. I really like that weight. Look at that. It's like, so what is that? Uh, one? I think that's a one. Is that a one weight? Or is that it? I think that's a one. Um, does it say it on here? Yeah, super fine. So nice, really pretty, really pretty colors. I like that. I have to figure out, I'm really gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna make. I don't know. And Euro flax, okay. 100% wet spun linen. Number two, fine sport weight. Machine washable and dryable, that's awesome. And it's funny that I noticed that some cottons actually don't say, or say that it just says gentle wash and it says lay flat to dry. I'm surprised with cotton, you can't put that in the dryer. I don't know, but um, really cool. Awesome, gray. And I think, oh, there is, let's see. Yes. Ooh, this is so much fun. <laughs> That's why it's called Happy Mail. This really makes me so happy, so excited to get such a variety of yarns. Red Heart Mini. Oh, look how cute on the pictures. It made little pom-poms with the googly eyes. And so one ball. Oh, it says one ball makes four pom-poms on this one. So, so there's that. And then here's the croquette. And this is 1.5 ounces. And this is what? Oh, 92% cotton. Is this, this is probably acrylic. I, hmm, where is it? Is this say acrylic? Yeah, 100% acrylic for this one. But, but cotton. 91%, 92% cotton and 5% polyester and 2% other fibers. This is really cute and sparkly. I like sparkly. I like sparkly and this is a thin, super fine weight. Yeah, awesome. Wow. And that is, okay, one last thing. One last thing. A notions bag. My very first notions bag, awesome. Now I have a place for my hooks, because I don't, um, the clover hooks that I was blessed with, I've just been keeping it in the case. And um, so now I have, oh, look at that. Let's see, what is this? Oh, bobbins. I'm going to need that for sure, thank you. This one says, is it, right, is it a bobbin? It says bobbin, floss bobbin. So I'm assuming then that is what you use it for to make bobbins, like if you do tapestry work or something like that, or color work, which I definitely want to do. I definitely want to do that. So if that is what it is for, then I can definitely use it. I will definitely be able to use that. And this one, it says embroidery frame, but it has, looks like it's a keychain. And it's got a llama, cactus, yeah, it's two of them, a llama and a ca cactus. And this one, yeah, this one's llama and a cactus too. So, if any of you guys, is that, because this doesn't, I don't know, I guess, I don't know, I've never embroidered. So, what does embroidery frame mean for this? Because it's like, you know, it has the, um, looks like a keychain. So that's, so is this correct what it says here? Floss bobbin? Anyway, hmm. if you guys, who, those of you that have seen these in Hobby Lobby, or what do you think? What's the embroidery frame? How do you, is this supposed to be a keychain or, or is this incorrect? Embroidery frame, what do you use it for when you do embroidery work? Embroidery work? I don't know, but yeah, cool, yay. 
Fasten that. And stitch markers. Finally get into this much stitch markers. I definitely needed stitch markers. Ooh. Oh my gosh, ladybugs. Oh, well, I call them ladybugs. Lisa, if you watch, if you're watching, I know you call them ladybirds. Look, ladybirds. How pretty. These these are one bugs I do not mind crawling on me. I actually when I if I ever find them on my plants, I actually will stick my finger onto it and try to get them to crawl on me. But yeah. How pretty. I love ladybugs. But any other bug? No. I start doing the freak out dance if any other bug or lizard or flying roach lands on me, watch out. I, I, I do the crazy dance. Get off me dance. <laughs> so, but yeah, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Thank you so much, Cassie. I was not expecting this much. Um, so thank you so much in the stitch markers. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't they say thank you enough. I am so thankful. Thank you. <laughs> Can I say, like I said, I can't thank you enough. But yeah, so this is my my uh, great happy mail. I'm so so happy to finally, I finally got it. Finally, finally, finally got it. And and um, Cassie was waiting on me to unbox the Santa sack because she did not open it to see what it was. So she was waiting on me to unbox it so she can see what was in that Santa sack. So there it is. And I thank you so much. And I can't wait to make use of all this yarn. Now I gotta figure out, of course, but I gotta finish my shawl first, finish my owl. And yeah, but hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for those of you that come and watch. I really appreciate it. And um, hope you all having a great day. God bless you guys. Love you. Bye. See you next time.